Good to see that. And it is good to see all the snow that we've been getting across the state with this winter storm. Here's a shot from Baum. We show you this because they are about to get a couple of showers into their direction. Those showers that rolled off the East Mountains now moving into Vaughn's direction and you can see those clouds starting to darken up over into the distance and it won't be long before they start to get a little bit of those showers moving into their direction. Taking a look at those showers we are seeing things starting to clear out a little bit. We're going to go into a little bit of a quiet period here through the evening hours and into the overnight before round two comes but we are still looking at a couple of decent showers out there. Metro pretty quiet right now. We did see some of those heavier snow showers over the East Mountains about an hour ago. Those are now pushing toward Vaughn and they will be seeing some of these showers as we move over the next 10 to 15 minutes and up to the north we are looking at a few more showers here. We were looking at pretty good showers going through Santa Fe into Glorieta Pass and now passing through Las Vegas now starting to quiet things down in the Las Vegas area and as you move over to the north we are looking at a few snow showers still going just north of Durango and Cortez and we will keep those snow showers going at least to some extent over those west facing slopes of the northern mountains and into southern Colorado through the overnight hours before round two moves into our direction. Right now 44 degrees the current temperature in the metro the west southwest wind at 13 miles per hour. We're looking at temperatures in the 20s still over southern Colorado 29 in Alamosa 28 in Durango. We're at 30 degrees in Taos 33 in Los Alamos down to the south. We're looking at temperatures much too warm to support snow but we have seen some decent showers here as well 55 currently in Roswell as well as Carlsbad 48 in Hobbs and and 48 currently in Tucumcari. We are looking at some windy conditions, especially across the southern portion of the state. The southeast seeing some of the bigger winds for the afternoon. 43 mile per hour wind gust in Roswell, 48 in Carlsbad. Los Alamos picking up a 41 mile per hour wind gust at this hour and 24 mile per hour wind gust in Santa Fe. 49 mile per hour wind gusts of Las Vegas associated with that snow shower that is just now pushing through. We are starting to see this first storm push out of the state with just a few of those light scattered showers in its wake, but we are continuing to watch that second part of the storm system that is over Southern California. And like with the first one, as it starts to move into our direction, we'll start to see some of that moisture tap up out ahead of it. So we will be looking for moisture increasing with the second storm system as it moves toward the state. And it looks like the northern portion of the state as well as the west will be looking at a decent chance of snow showers once again. So we will continue with those lingering snow showers overnight. The second part of that storm system moves into our direction. We'll continue with a good chance of snow showers over the north and into the west for tomorrow and then eventually as we move into Sunday we do start to clear things out especially into the second half of the day before we start to see things moderate in temperatures early next week and we start to see more sunshine. Breaking it down with super storm track will continue with those lingering snow showers over the northern mountains and in some of the western locations through the overnight hours. Then we'll start to see that shower activity build in not in the morning hours but more so into the afternoon hours as that storm system passes through and then by the time we reach Sunday we'll hold on to a couple of lingering snow showers over the north but things will be quieting down overall and we'll start to see a very nice start to the work week with more sunshine. Southern Colorado temperatures here will be in the upper 20s to low 30s tomorrow with snow showers continuing. We'll see more of those snow showers early in Sunday before we start to clear out into the beginning of next week. Over the northwest we'll look for a scattered mix for tomorrow once again. That will continue into early Sunday before clearing out late Sunday and into the beginning of the work week. Over the southwest mountain snow will be possible once again. And we'll hold on to a couple of those snow showers into early Sunday before clearing out late Sunday and into the beginning of next week as temperatures warm back into the upper 50s. Over the southeast, clearing skies for tomorrow will eventually go mostly sunny by the end of the day with highs in the upper 50s to low 60s. And we'll continue with the sunshine through the back half of the weekend and into early next week as temperatures warm to the mid 60s. Over the northeast, partly cloudy with a spot shower possible. Temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s. We'll be back into the upper 30s for Sunday with snow showers continuing early and then clearing out for the beginning of next week. Over the northern mountains, snow showers will be continuing through tomorrow with highs in the 20s and 30s. We'll hold on to a couple more early Sunday before clearing out for the beginning of the work week. Over the East Mountains, scattered snow possible for tomorrow, but not to the extent that we saw it today. We could even see a couple of passing showers in the metro for tomorrow, but overall will be more dry than we will be wet. And then we'll start to see those showers diminish into Sunday with just partly cloudy skies and more sunshine to begin next week. Okay, thanks John. We'll be right back.